Hello, Mandy Perry here. <laughs> welcome, welcome. If you're in my tribe, please say hello. If you're brand new, hashtag I'm here. This is what we're doing. Hashtag I'm here for the replay. Let me just make sure I'm live because it's been glitchy lately. I'm crooked a little bit, I think, but it's just gonna have to stay like that. <laughs> This is how it's working today. <laughs> how do we like these? Okay, I can't see anything. Okay, let me find it. Okay, so today's topic, protecting your energy at all costs. I can't even tell you how many times I've learned this lesson. <laughs> many times. Why can't I see anything? Oh, I can see something. Someone said hi. Oh, hi, Stefan. Hi, Lisa. Yay, yay, yay. When you hop on. <sighs> say hi to me so I can see who's here so I don't feel alone. Okay, this is bothering me. It's crooked for sure. It is crooked. Because I can see because my picture is like this longer on this side. Whatever. <laughs> hi, guys. Happy Friday. Welcome. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you're here. This is an important topic, and I'm just going to tell you straight up. <laughs> I had This is one of those lessons that is like you learn over and over and over and over and over. And I'm not really sure why. Just some of them come easy and some of them come hard. <laughs> it is what it is. But this is one of the ones that <laughs> that makes my life the best that it could possibly ever be. It brings all the joy. It brings all the fun. It brings all the success. It brings all the connection and the belonging and all the good stuff. And it's the one that I continuously seem to stray, like just like stray away from. And then it's like like being in a boxing ring with a professional. All of a sudden, it's like, duh, 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 and you're taking the hits and you're like, where the hell did I just end up and how did I get here? And then every, like now I know in the beginning I would be like, what happened? And like, what's happened? Now I'm like, oh, I know exactly what happened. It's exactly what we're going to talk about tonight. Hi, Katie. So <laughs> it is protecting your freaking energy. I feel like I have horns right here. I feel like these shouldn't be there. <laughs> They're like two random short pieces that I have. Well, it is what it is. <sighs> protecting your energy. Here's the real deal. I'm just going to say this so straight. You will show up differently in life when you are surrounded by people who have a high vibe, who have happiness, who have joy, who are showing up big, who are success minded, who um, are staying in positive energy, who are focused on the next level, who are heart centered, who are, <sighs> I was going to say that, but is that really true? Hold on. Let me just check in with myself on that one. Yeah, it does feel true, depending on what you want, right? Because there's no rules. There's no rule like you're allowed to have this or not, but it is in integrity. If you are someone who likes to have a more superficial based life, and those are the things you aspire to, be around people who also do, or more heart-centered, you know, like, like leave an impact and legacy on the world, then we're hanging out more with those people. Because whether you like it or not, and I know this, I'm talking about your marriage, I'm talking about your best friends, I'm talking about your uh, family, I'm talking about the, hi Lisa, I'm talking about the, uh, the people in your tribe, the people in your community, the, the, any of the groups that you are involved in, this is what we're talking about right now. Because when you're around other people who are thinking regular, who are thinking like, just get through the day, or, you know, they're in survival mode, they're thinking, you know, just make this, you know, make, just make 20 grand this month and be done with it. Just, or just, you know, make the paycheck to this week or this month and be done with it. When you're around people who are focused on what they don't like in the world, when you're around people who are bitching and complaining, when you're around people who are struggling to survive because they're constantly making decisions that are causing chaos in their life, when you're around people who are, um, you know, desperate or needy, like need something from you all the time, then you slip into rest mode uh, it is what it is like it's not that we're better than anyone else it's not that we're different than anyone else it has nothing to do with better than or different right that that would feel so gross for me to think like I'm better than them I can't be around them that's not what it is I choose to live in a different energy than them there's no right or wrong every soul has its own journey on this planet everybody's allowed to however the hell they want to show up in this life however they want to live this world whatever the experience they want to have on this planet is they get to have and there is no judgment and there is no rules and there's no right or wrong i i i think it's a shame for people to think that they this is how it should look this is how you should live 
this is what the truth is. And if I'm putting projecting my truth on you, if I'm telling you what it's supposed to look like for your journey, how are you supposed to feel? What are you supposed to want? Where are you supposed to end up? What is it supposed to look like for you to get there? I don't believe in that. I think that's crap. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't back that way of showing up on the planet or that way of believing, right? So <laughs> I do believe that I get to choose how I want to show up in the planet and the energy I want to live in and the experience of life that I want to have. And I do believe that by doing that, I can hold space for other people to do the same. So I get to learn the lesson, just like everybody else, that we get to actually start acknowledging and confronting and being really honest about the, the space that we're in and the things that are contributing or taking away from our energy. And on both ends of the spectrum, things can go mischief. We can accidentally let in people who are taking down our energy or like there's just some kind of mischief or drama or it's hard or it's just something's off about it and we're letting it in and it's kind of causing us to, to like stumble up and, and get frustrated or, or have like a questioning or it's just, it's not easy, it's not right, there's not a flow to it and we accidentally sort of let that in. There's a lack of boundaries, there's et cetera, et cetera. That's one end of it where it's just sort of draining our energy because it's there's a lack of boundaries happening or there's uh, a negative energy that's just constantly there, right? But on the other spectrum, it's the same thing. When there's something around you that just lights your soul up and it just brings you to life and it brings energy and clarity and inspiration to the table, it's really important to stay closer to that, right? Sometimes we're triggered, sometimes we're jealous, sometimes we're like, that's like way too much, they shouldn't be like that, I don't wanna end up being like them, but yet, but yet, being in their energy just lit you up so much, right? Like, let's say, like I remember in the beginning when I was doing this, um, you know, I'm a Christian, come from a Christian background. Um, I had Christian clients who were like, oh, the swearing is really bothering me, right? And it was like, <laughs> I understand that and this is my soul's journey and this is the way I show up. And for me, it was really understanding and recognizing that um, as I show up true to myself, uh, I will draw in people who need whatever it is. And for whatever reason, if that person's soul was really lit up around me, but the swearing was jarring, there was a lesson for them. And I, I got to be strong enough to recognize that as I'm being honest and true and integrity with myself, they're going to be seasoned or go through whatever it is they're meant to be, you know, not letting something like a word trigger them, those kind of things, whatever the healing was, right? Or it just wasn't in alignment and they got to go in a different direction. Either way, it was about telling yourself the truth, right? whether you were lit up and you got fed and your soul was being fed around that energy, around the 